Hi guys, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Pretty Little Liars, because I just finished it last night, um, finally, and I have a lot of thoughts, um, and I'm just not going to spend a whole lot of time in the introduction, because I have a lot to say, um, and not very much time to say it, or don't want to take up terribly too much of your time. Um, but yeah, so I finished it last night, it took me a while, because I hate finishing shows, depresses me so I hold it off as long as I can but this one I just had to finish and I had to know who AD was so I finished it and I'm glad I did because I'm excited to talk to you about it um Pretty Little Liars was one of those shows that I was never gonna watch um it looked terrible to me to be honest it was an ABC Family original and I'm just like Ooh, you know and I was like oh, it looks too teeny you know like a drama like I don't care you know it's just like who cares who A is? Um, and then I was staying the summer, or a couple weeks at a friend's house, and she did Pretty Little Liars Nights with her friend, and so me and my sister sat and watched it with her, and I was like, ooh, this is interesting. It kind of had, like, that One Tree Hill kind of suspense that it had, One, One Tree Hill had in the later seasons, where it was, like, epic drama, you know, and I really enjoy that kind of thing. Um, I'm coming to realize, and since watching Pretty Little Liars, I've realized that teen drama is definitely my thing. Most teen drama, for the most part. Um, but yeah, so I started watching it, and I went home and started from season one, and I, I was like, mm, I'm not sure about this, you know, I'm not I'm sure I'm liking, you know. Um, what kept me going is Ezra um, Fitz. I loved Ezra Fitz. I loved the character. I just thought he was attractive. I just thought he was great. I wanted to see how the story of Arya would unfold with him and all this stuff, and I really enjoyed that storyline, and I was curious about it, so that kind of kept me watching, and I realized in a lot of shows, there's usually, like, one character, if I'm unsure about the show, the reason I keep watching is usually one character is, like, intriguing to me, um, an example of this would be, like, um, Ian Somerhalder playing Damon in The Vampire Diaries, when I started watching The Vampire Diaries, I was like, this show's lame, I don't know, and then Ian Somerhalder, flew in literally and I was like hmm this brings some interesting dynamics I want to see how this works because there's another guy you know it's not just like the the twilight it's like different you know and so that character kept me going in the vampire diaries and then you know after so much time um, I've loved the Vampire Diaries for other reasons, and Teen Wolf, I was unsure about Teen Wolf, and Style Stalinsky, I think that's his name, um, Dylan O'Brien's character, I was like, I thought he was hilarious, so that's why I kept watching, and then eventually I did really fall in love with just the whole idea of the show, and so with Pretty Little Liars, it was Ezra Fitz, and I was just so intrigued by the whole, and people may think it's creepy, and I guess it is creepy, but in a TV show, I can accept it, and... I don't know what that says about me, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's why I kept watching, and then eventually I did fall in love with a lot of characters. The girl that I most identified out of the show was Arya, but maybe that's because I love Ezra. Um, but I did feel like her style and the way she carried herself, even though she had some interesting style choices, I felt like her personality I most identified out of the group. Um, and then... Um, I did not, my least favorite girl out of the group was Allison, and when she came back and she was, like, a friend, part of the group again, I was like, I'm not liking this at all. I don't like this. Um, and so that's kind of the reason why I didn't really care for Emily and Allison's, like, relationship. I was like, it was just like, I didn't hate it, I just didn't like it. I just didn't care about it, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like... Like, I loved Arya and Ezra for obvious reasons. Caleb and Hannah I enjoyed. Toby and Spencer, I wanted to see how that was going to work out. And Allison and Emily, I was just like, I don't like Allison, so I wish Emily wasn't with you. But, there we go. Um, yeah, I, another highlight of the show for me was series finale when, um, the girl who played Spencer, and I wish I could say her name, but I don't know how to say it, and I don't want to butcher it, so I'm just going to say the actress who played Spencer. I follow her on Instagram, and I can see her name in my head, but I always pronounce it wrong in my head, so I don't want to say it. So, but if you can look her up, because she's great. And her playing the evil villain, the twin to Spencer, was just phenomenal. Like, some of the best acting I've seen in a long time. Like, um, Nina Debrev, I felt like did in the Vampire Diaries did the whole like playing two different parts and even five to f six different parts because she just be started doing all these different parts but anywho 
I felt like she was great at that, but this girl who played Spencer was just phenomenal. Like, I was looking at her face thinking she was a different person. She was the same person, just acting a different part next to a different... Oh, it was just mind-boggling, and I just, like, so enjoyed it. And I just, like, couldn't look away. It was cringing, but I just couldn't look away, and I feel like that's what a lot of the show was for me. Like, oh, I can't look away, but I'm so freaking out. And, um... Yeah, so I really loved that part of the storyline. Um, a lot of um, my... I was freaking out a lot about Ezra because I thought they were really going to sink my ship there towards the end. And, um, yeah, I really thought that they were going to just tank the Ezra and Arya ship. And there was one time where he hit his head where I was like, oh, no, they're going to be getting married and he's just going to, like fall down brain dead or something that's what I totally thought because that's like typical pretty little liars to me like I wouldn't put it past them it's like one tree hill drama like you know like no but they sur he survived and my ship lives on um but <laughs> um yeah so there was a lot of intense parts because I was like really worried like they weren't gonna get married or he was gonna die <coughs> I was really concerned about the Ezra Arya ship. Um, I don't remember if they closed up Toby and Spencer, but I really liked their relationship. And I liked watching it because I really liked them together, but I didn't understand how they would ever work together practically because they're on such different paths professionally and just, you know. So I was always curious about that, but I don't remember if they tied it up at the end. I don't remember. But Caleb and Hannah I really liked, and I really enjoyed watching um, I didn't understand at the end the whole kid storyline, and it was in towards the last the season. Addison, the kids in the high school, I didn't understand how that played a part, and then I didn't understand how they, why they ended it with the kids starting it all over again, because it was like wasn't one enough. But so if you understand that, if you could leave me a comment below about why they had the whole like kid storyline, is that part of the books? I need to read the books. Um, I didn't want to read the books until after I finished the series because I didn't want to confuse the two. But I don't know. I thought maybe that's a nod to the books. But again, I don't know. Um, so I thought that whole storyline was really weird and unnecessary, but not just my personal opinion. But overall, I just thought the show was so fun to watch. So if you like teen drama and you like a lot of ridiculous drama, then I think that you would really enjoy Pretty Little Liars. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much all i got to say about it. If you've got thoughts about Pretty Little Liars in the ending or anything, you can leave them down in the comments. I'd be love to talk to you about it because I love talking about these kinds of things, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, also, if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about things that really matter to me, like Pretty Little Liars and Vampire Diaries and Sarah Dawson books. But yeah, so I hope to be bringing more videos very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.